You know, I am quickly reminded of someone at times they did not want to attend some family gatherings because they would always say, say that, you know what, these people is not like my relatives. They care about me. They don't care about me. They don't take me serious and all this stuff. And I want to tell you something. Both ways, uh, these things uh, are there. You must, it's, it's, it's a matter of how you embrace it. You get what I'm saying? I remember some couple of months ago, uh, when I was buying a car, I remember I was discussing, I was actually telling my sister and someone, they were, my sister was like, yo, some people, yo, you know, because in my country, there is this thing of when people think you have money, they start to accuse you of maybe you have a snake. And you get what I'm saying? Because there was a time where there was a trend of celebrities that they are rich because of snakes. So myself, I took that as a compliment. And I was like, they were like, oh, you people will start accusing us because of you because they will say, oh, you bought a car. Where are you getting the money? Blah, 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 blah. Some people will start to wonder. But to me, I looked at it as a thing of like, listen, to me, actually, that's what I want them to say because on the bright side, it will make them, it will make me to realize that these people now, it's like they have elevated me. They see me as something because I believe if they don't take me like I have enough finances, they won't even assume anything. You are nothing. You get what I'm saying? The fact that people can accuse you that you are a drug dealer, you could be a drug dealer while you're not, it says something. Forget about the word drug dealer and think what is making them say that. What's, what's wrong or what's right about your money that is making them accuse you? Are they accusing everyone that goes and buys some packet of uh, snacks that they are a drug dealer? Of course not. It shows that you are in another level, right? So yes. So why do you have to cry? The fact that they refer to Jesus as a demon, was it because he was not demonstrating miracles? It was just like anybody? No, he was doing something which was extraordinary, was beyond normal. So you are beyond normal. That is why at the end of the day, you must be prepared if they are not talking about you yet, oh my God, you must be like me and say, you know what, for me to know that now these people, they see me as something, let them, I can't wait until they start accusing me. If they are not, I remember it's the first thing I made, even before people can say anything. So when people, some, they would even jokingly ask me, say something like that, I will just laugh. I don't remember ever explaining myself to anybody. And to me, I was like, oh, it means now I'm there, right? So I never ha got head. I would say sometimes when I was just saying something, um, my, 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 my sister, I would just tell that she's kind of concerned. She wouldn't like it. I was like, no, just relax. You don't owe anybody an explanation. Even Jesus, he never owed anybody explanation. He would just say, I am the son of God. You believe in, you can, you must drink my blood and eat my flesh. That's how you live it. So that is what you must take right now. If they are not talking about you yet, it's a sign that you are nothing yet. But as they begin to talk, instead of you worrying what they are saying, oh my God, begin to praise the Lord that you are something. Now you are a topic of discussion. I pray that let the Lord elevate you to an extent where people will wonder and be amazed, will have division on how they can regard you, where they can place you, and that will be your sign. I pray for your breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.